Hey guys, Daniel James here, and today we are in Santa Monica. Oh God, this guy's crossing, but he's he's left it too late. Um, oh God, this guy's gonna pull up. This is a shitty start to a video. Anyway, so we're just driving down the beach, um, and <laughs> already my focus is gone. There's no one behind me, so it's okay. And there you can see we're driving down uh, Ocean Avenue on, in Santa Monica, taking a good old look at the beach here. Um, so yeah, we just finished the Forzo stream uh, on live stream on Twitch. And as I mentioned in that, we are going to be uh, doing some vlogs on my Honda Grom. So these are the Grom Poser vlogs. You see what I did there? Don't you pull out on me. I'll race you. Don't you do it. Don't you fucking do it. Anyway. I, I apologize, there's going to be lots of this uh, video interrupted by um, me swearing at the traffic. I don't have road rage, I have biker fear, if that's a thing, that's a bumpy road. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned in the live stream, we're going to be doing these videos, uh, just riding around town, taking a look at what Los Angeles, or in this case Santa Monica, is actually like to live in. Um, now I can lane split here, this is a thing in California, I'm going to wait till this car goes so I can see my distance. And there it is, there's no bikes behind me, so I just kind of, excuse me, but I'm going to win this race. And then I pull up to the front, oh, I ran over a bottle. What the fuck was that? That guy didn't look happy. We click here into gear. Anyway, so yeah, as I mentioned in the stream, we're going to be doing these vlogs on the bike uh, while we ride around town. And yeah, so one of the people in the uh, stream was asking, obviously because we were talking about Forzo, which are the best brass libraries to get? So there's a lot of contention here. So it depends really on what you're going for in a brass library. If you're an epic trailer composer, you're probably gonna want to avoid um, companies like Spitfire. And you're definitely going to want to lean towards companies like Musical Sampling, Cine Samples, Metropolis Arc, uh, which is orchestral tools. And these kinds of people, you know, they go big. So they're the ones I tend to gravitate towards. Forzo is an absolute beast when it comes to tone. So if you're doing anything film score, and even up to the trailer level, you definitely want to get yourself involved with the uh, with Forzo. I mean, just watch the, uh, the video I put up online today. Should be on YouTube by this point. And I'll put my visor down, it just gets so hot in here. As you can tell, it's very hot and I'm wearing all black like a mug. There's the beach, the Santa Monica Beach, you see it's beautiful. This person next to me is like looking. He's not happy, because he knows what's coming. Lane split! You see, look, people always have like these, these Ford Mustangs and shit. And then along comes a little whippersnapper like me, like... How's them cylinders doing for you now, bruv? Oh God, please don't hit, please don't hit the truck. Please don't hit the truck. Look at this car. You see all these cars, really expensive. And then a little 125 just blast past them. Like a bounce. Oh, what's going on here? When we get to a, a rather interesting intersection, we'll actually stop and people watch for a minute. Then we'll go back to the, uh... hey, that's me. Hello. The Lobster Beach parking. Run, run. Run, man! Okay. Um, so we're going to go up here. I'll take you down Main. Wow, Jesus! Um, we're going to go take a look down on Main Street because there's a lovely little turn in that I love there. So let's pull it in here. Oh, look, another Ford Mustang. You'll see a lot of Ford Mustangs out here. Um, so yeah, brass libraries are an interesting thing. Usually you're, you're split between two things because it's very rare to find one that does both. You're going to go for either tone or you're going to go for playability. So companies that are good at playability. I love Cine Samples and I love musical sampli samplings. Trailer brass or performance brass. Are there any coppers around? Gabba gabba. Gabba gabba gabba. No gabba gabbas. Right, we're just going to just do a little jump the line here. I'm lane sharing. I'm lane sharing. You didn't see anything. Um, this geezer. He's brought his pillow out with him. Why? Could go either way. Wait, that's me. Easy, son. Easy. I hate doing this. Pulling out in the middle of the road. Oh. That means I'm starting to run out of petrol. It <laughs> switched over to my reserve tank. I went... Little jump, here we go, here we go, here we go. 
<laughs> There's City Hall. Fuck it, I missed it, I was too busy talking. Anyway, <laughs> so... Uh, oh, policeman, 10 and 2, 10 and 2, 10 miles an hour. Nothing to see here, officer. This geezer's cleaning the road. This guy's gonna cross right in front of me, look. Still green, it's still green. Fuck you, fuck you. Thank you very much. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drive down Santa Monica and get some fuel. But anyway, so, are we actually recording? Yeah, we are. Um, who really likes the bike? Ah, oh, I was gonna do it then. I was gonna bloody do it. Is it Broadway I wanna go down or Santa Monica? Oh, Santa Monica. That's where the gas, gas station, I say gas station now. So yeah, in terms of uh, brass libraries that you go for for tone, Forzo, absolutely fucking amazing. Beautiful tone. This is actually where Spitfire excel as well. Because they record at the Air Studios Lynhurst in London, all of their libraries have a great tone. Unfortunately, it never seems to translate too well into either playability or, um, yeah, playability or uh, like epicness. For some reason, there's something about that hall where when you get up in the top end, it just loses that zzz, that zingy. Ep. Making sure no one's crossing. All right, this is Santa Monica. As you can see, just cars everywhere. It's pandemonium. Cars and people and shit. And plenty of homeless people down here. She's having a good day. Sitting in the shade, picking her ears. Why not? This guy, this guy don't know what he wants in life. So this is Third Street, the famous Third Street promenade. Wonderful place. Hey bikers, how we doing? <laughs> I always laugh when the bikers ride, uh, yeah, ride past me because I'm riding a Honda Grum. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's fucking tiny. Right, I can see there's a thing coming, so I don't know where I'm gonna be. My light goes green, I'm just gonna stop. Hey! I'm gonna move to the side a bit. It's gonna get loud. Which way are you going, Tom? Don't you cross, idiots. That's a loud bastard. Anyway, plenty of those around here, plenty of sirens. So yeah, tone, something about Spitfire and some of the other libraries that are recorded in big halls. When you get big, they tend not to, um, they tend not to be uh, good at going epic. There's something about the kind of smaller dry rooms that just, they, when you hit them with the, uh, with the louder FFF kind of volumes, particularly like orchestral tools, theirs always tend to go really well for this. Um, Sorry, just waving to the bike. Oh, um, yeah. So when you go up to the uh, like the smaller, tighter rooms, like orchestral tools records in, and and recently Forza, I think that was recorded on the Skywalker stage. I'd have to look that up to clarify. Oh, there's a petrol station. I could have gone there. Fuck. Um, hello, Mr. Biker, with your hat up. But the uh, oh god, look at these bastards blocking traffic. Is this a copper? He don't look like a copper, but he's got a security badge on. I'm conflicted, he's got a purse. Anyway, not that men can't have purses, I'm not judgmental, I'm just saying. So tone, uh, but yeah, so epic seems to work better when you're in smaller rooms. And same with drums, like if you put drums in a big hall like air, they lose a lot of their power. I mean, you have to get a lot of them in there and push all that air around in order to make it sound big. But you put a drum in a good solid small drum room, that thing sounds fucking mental. Oh, alarms. Look at these bastards. Look, no one no one likes to stop for traffic. They like to block me. I need to get in the right lane soon, I think. What am I on? Lincoln. Right, don't you do it. Oh, look, he's blocking it. He's blocking it. Get out the intersection. Look, there's a fine for blocking the intersection. Oh, God. I don't get to go yet. Um, so, yeah, that's what I use for brass. Oh, look at this guy. Look, he's blocking the road. Get out the way. <laughs> you see, I'm a biker, so I don't tend to stop for people. Right, this guy's coming in fast. He's coming in hot. But I need to be in that lane because my thing is coming up soon. So you see, riding a bike, it is. I mean, a lot of people say it's super dangerous, and it, it definitely is. 
but there's just a certain degree of freedom and movement that you get on a bike that you never get in a car. And I, I've always found, oh fuck, I keep missing the bikers. I'll race this cyclist. Oh God, there's people on the crosswalk. That's one thing I hate about LA, is these fucking hidden crosswalks that people are allowed to just start walking on, but I don't, you just don't know if they're there or not. Oh God, there's a car to my side. Right, I can lay, oh no, fuck, I need the, I need the gas. I need the gas. Right, I'm pulling in. Whee. Anyway, that's a good place to stop. So brass libraries. We'll pick this up in another vlog. Are you going for that one or am I going for that one? I'm going for this one. Regular Supreme. All right, that's where we're going to end this one for now, guys. I'll see you in the next one.